President addresses women legislators who meet says country's freedom struggle late foundation of gender equality. Prime Minister Narendra Modi attends graduation ceremony of business school says India emerging as major center of growth. Assam Chief Minister inaugurates model schools in Vishwanath expresses hopes that they will ignite an education revolution. HSSLC results declared in Meghalaya's Chief Minister Conrad Sangma Hill's successful students. And Lovelina is now chair of International Boxing Association. Shiv Thapa, a member, sports minister, wishes them all success. A very good evening, viewers. Welcome to the Notice News Bulletin. This is Hans Raj bringing to you the stories in detail. In National News First, President Ramnath Kovind today said the India's freedom struggle has laid the foundation for gender equality in the country. He recalled the inspiring contributions of women who had relentlessly fought for liberation from colonialism. Addressing the National Conference of Women Legislators in Tiruvannantapuram, Kovind said women are entering more challenging spheres of life and have shown their might in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. He recalled that of the 15 women the Constituent Assembly had, three were from Kerala. Governor Arif Mohammad Khan presided over the function held at the Kerala Legislative Complex. Chief Minister Pinarai Vijayan, Speaker M.B. Rajesh, Opposition Leader V.D. Satishan were among those present on the occasion. And women of this state have set an example of selfless care even at a great personal risk, risk during this period of crisis. Such achievements should have been natural for women who constitute about half of the population. That unfortunately has not been the case. We have to admit that they have suffered from deep-rooted social prejudices. Their proportion in the workforce is nowhere near their potential. In politics too, there should be far more of you Contesting and also in more national news, Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said India is emerging now as a major center of growth. Addressing the students of both Hyderabad and Mohali campuses of Indian School of Business (ISB), Modi said last year the highest ever recorded foreign direct investment came into India. Today, the world is realizing that India means business. He said districts that were called backwards earlier are now called aspirational districts to create a new wave of development and confidence. It was ISB's graduation ceremony of the post-graduation program of 2022. Modi added that today, ISB is one of the top business schools in Asia. Professionals coming out of it are giving impetus to the business of the country. As the last reports came in, Prime Minister Modi has already arrived in Chennai, where he is scheduled deal to launch a series of projects ko likh raha hai to hame ek aur baat yaad rakhni hogi hame chote vyapariyo small business ka bhi utna hi dhyan rakhna hoga hame unhe zyada bade platform dene honge grow karne ke liye zyada behtar mauke dene honge hame unhe desh videsh mein naye naye bazaron se jodne mein madad karni hogi Moving on, Union Commerce Minister Piyush Goel has said India will continue to allow wheat exports for countries which are in serious need, are friendly and have the letter of credit. Speaking at the World Economic Forum at Davos, Switzerland, Goel highlighted that this year 7 to 8 percent rise in wheat production is expected, but severe heat waves have led to early harvest and loss of production. Given this situation, what the country is producing is enough for domestic consumption. He said India was never a traditional player in the international wheat market and export of wheat only began about two years ago. Poorer countries who, who need that or the vulnerable countries who need that drink. We analyzed the exports and we found instead of Bangladesh or the less developed countries, it was actually being exported to trading centers. 
Moving on to the northeast now. Tripura Chief Minister Dr. Manik Saha today met Union Minister for Railways, Communications and Electronics and Information Technology Ashwini Vaishnav at Rail Bhavan, New Delhi. Dr. Saha urged him to expedite further extension of railway network in Tripura. The Chief Minister also called on Union Minister of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj Giriraj Singh at Krishi Bhavan, New Delhi. The two discussed ongoing projects and MG and Rega, PMZSY and other related centrally sponsored schemes. In a series of tweets, Dr. Saha has informed that Giriraj Singh assured him of all possible support. In Manipur, Chief Minister N. Birin Singh today chaired the meeting to review the arrangements for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's interaction with the beneficiaries of various schemes scheduled on the 31st of May, which will be held via video conferencing. In Arunachal Pradesh, Chief Minister Pema Khandu today received a report on findings of a tour to districts and the recommendations by Chairperson State Commission for Child Protection Rights, Gumri Ringu. In a tweet, Khandu said children are the future and hope for the society. He met the delegation led by Ringu and discussed child related issues. In another tweet, Khandu informed that he also met a delegation of newly elected members of Tani Supun Dukun, apex body of the Apatani tribe. Apatani is a distinctive tribal group based in Zero Valley and is known for following a unique human nature relationship by practicing traditional pedi kam fish cultivation. And Assam Chief Minister Dr. Himanta Vishwa Horma today expressed his confidence that model schools will ignite an education revolution in TA states and produce a socially aware generation which will take a lead in socio-economic uplift of the people. Inaugurating a number of schools in Vishwanath, he said it is part of government of Assam's aim to take education to each and every family belonging to tea tribes in the state. He said the government is carrying forward the mission of dedicating 96 other shabidyalas to the tea community. The Meghala Board of School Education, MBOSC, today declared results of the Higher Secondary School Living Certificate Examination for Science, Commerce and Vocational Streams. Altogether, 2,981 candidates appeared for the science stream, where a total of 2,135 cleared the exams. As for Commerce Stream, a total of 2,047 candidates appeared in the exams and 1,712 candidates cleared it. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Conrad Sangma has congratulated the toppers and all meritorious students who have passed the exams. In Nagaland, Chief Minister Nephew Rio today received the first copy of a coffee table book of the South Asian Cross Country Championships and the 56th and National Cross Country Championships from Abu Metha, Associate Vice President of AFI India. The event was hosted in Kohima. Rio lauded the citizens of Nagaland for successful hosting of the events. Assam Chief Minister Dr. Himanto Vishakharma has said the historical staging of Rupkwar Juti Prakhad Agarwala's first play, Hunit Kumori, and Gandhiji's visit to Poki Juti Bharati Museum have completed 100 years. On the occasion, he visited Juti Bharati Museum, the ancestral home of Rupkwar Juti Prakhad Agarwala at Tejpur. He urged all the youth to visit Poki. <laughs> আজি মই গুটেই সম্পদখিনি খুব সুন্দৰভাৱে উছৰৰ পৰা চালু আৰু আমাক দুই এটা সম্পদৰ বিষয়ে মই বুজায়ো কলে বিশেষ কৈ মহামানৱ মহাত্মা গান্ধী ইয়াতে কেনেকে আছিলে তেখেতে Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangwa visited the Central Cement Bank at Upper Shillong on Wednesday. The facility uses technology for collection, storage and distribution of cement extracted from elite improved breeds of bulls used in upgrading local cattle population through artificial insemination. And Meghala, Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong inaugurated a motorable bridge at Umsait Sningumuru village in Rivoy district. On the same day, he also inaugurated a black topping of the road connecting Umstru village via Umsait Sning to Umsning town.
International Boxing Association, IBA, has announced that the Indian boxer and Tokyo Olympics bronze medalist Lovelina Borguhai has received the highest number of votes during the election held at the 2022 Women's World Championships and thus has been elected as a chair and a voting member on the board of directors for the IBA's Athletes Committee. Father boxer Shiva Thapa has also been elected a member of the IBA Athletes Committee. Congratulating the Athletes Union Minister of Youth Affairs and Sports, Anurag Singh Thakur, wrote on Twitter, and I quote, Big congratulations, Lovelina Bogunhai, for being elected the chair of the IBA Boxing Athletes Committee, and Shiva Thapa for being elected a member of IBA Boxing Athletes Committee, unquote. In IPL cricket, Royal Challengers Bangalore defeated Lucknow Super Giants by 14 runs in the playoffs eliminator at Eden Gardens, Kolkata last night. Bangalore will now take on Rajasthan Royals for a place in the final. With this, Bangalore booked a place in the qualifier too, which they will play against the Rajasthan Royals at Narendra Modi Stadium, Ahmedabad tomorrow. India is playing now host to Indonesia in a must-win encounter in the last group match of the Asia Cup 2022 in Jakarta today. Having played out a draw against Pakistan and suffered loss against Japan, even a victory against the host might not be enough for the defending champions India to seal a spot on the knockout stage of the tournament. And to end the news, the main points once again. President addresses women legislators meet, says country's freedom struggle late foundation of gender equality. Prime Minister Narendra Modi attends graduation ceremony of business school, says India emerging as major center of growth. Assam Chief Minister inaugurates the model schools in Bishwanath, expresses hopes they will ignite an education revolution. HSSLC results declared in Meghalaya. Chief Minister Conrad Sangma hails successful students. And Lovelina is now chair of International Boxing Association. Shiv Thapa, a member. Sports Minister wishes them all success. And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.